Um, yeah, Melinda sent me a class that she says she does all the time. And I was like, which class is it? And I haven't looked at it yet, but I think you said that there's like, it's upper body, but there's also core in there. And I was thinking about that as I, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So it's kind of similar. I just wrote this class. Um, we're gonna start off with heavier weights. I'm probably gonna use seven and a half to tens for some of it. And then we're gonna finish with lighter weights in between each thing we're going to do crunches. All right. Because we got to get some abs in there as well. And we know, we all know that whenever you are using weights, lifting weights, that it is also an ab exercise. So keep that in mind. Anytime you're holding weights, if you're a newbie with me, and this may be the first class you've ever done with me, I want to say your stance is really important. You never want to be arched. You never want to be dumping into your lower back. You always want to be pulling your body underneath of you and pulling your abs in this tuck this is neutral spine this is how i normally stand this seems exaggerated but that helps engage your core and puts all of the weight here instead of here which is what we want to avoid especially as we get older and you just throw out your back by bending over to pick up a trader joe's back all right <laughs> yeah same okay so get some tunes going have your weights nearby Let's do the damn thing. Um, I don't know where my phone is, so I'm not going to play any music because I think I left it. No big deal. All right. Hi, everyone. Take a deep breath in. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. And exhale it out. This is upper body sculpt. I feel like we haven't done a dedicated upper body class, so we want to get those shoulder joints nice and loose, right? Nothing feels sticky. Do what you need to do to feel limber in that area. And then same thing. We tend to throw a lot of tension into our neck when we are lifting weights. So I want you to roll out your head in both directions, getting out any stickiness there. And then because we tend to hold a lot of tension in our neck when we lift weights, I just want you to do this a few times. Place your hands down by your sides. Keep your knees soft. Lift your, your shoulders up into your ears. See how that feels? And then press them all the way down and see how that feels. Again, lift them up. Don't let your shoulders creep up when you're lifting weights. They should feel like this. You are pressing them down as if there is gravity pushing down on your shoulders. A few more times just so you get that feeling. All the while, I want you to tuck your tailbone under, pull it all underneath of you, and start squeezing your abs, all right? So I know it feels weird to be in this forward tucked in position with your shoulders pressed down. Take the most exaggerated version of that stance that you can. It might be like this, but <laughs> we get it, right? Okay, and then it ends up being more like that. Yep, perfect. All right, so we're gonna start with some push-ups just to get our chest nice and open and warm, our triceps, our biceps. We're just gonna do 10 push-ups on our knees and then 10 triceps push, tricep push-ups. Are you ready? Come on down. No weights to start. Here we go. On your knees, place your hands as wide as your mat. Really, really spread your fingertips and then just turn them in ever so slightly. We turn our fingertips in because then our elbows are at a diagonal. You never want your elbows here. They're not straight out. You would never push a wall like this, right? So you want them here because that's how you would push something out of the way. It's the same movement when you're on the floor. Hi, doggy. All right. So never like this, like this. Cool. Here we go. Pull your heels into your glutes in three, two, one. Give me 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. You've got five. Are we holding our core in? Yes, we are. Three more. You've got two more. And one. Oh, way to start. Hello. Kick it back for a second. Stretch it back. Walk your fingertips out if you want to stretch into your side body because it feels good before we roll up and do tricep push-ups. Now this time, your elbows are not here. They are here, directly into your waist, completely front and back, all right? So fingertips face forward, 
elbows stay into your sides, getting into the back of your arm. You may not be able to go as low and that's okay. Just don't arch your back. Pull your belly button in. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, breathe with it. Seven, you got six and five. Just four more. Oh yeah, who feels it in their triceps? Make sure you're not arching. Three, two, your core is supporting you. Last one, and take it back to that child's pose. Stretching out your arms. Take your arms to the left so you feel that right side body stretch. Big breath in, and an exhale. And then walk to the other side, walk to the right. So you feel that left side body stretch, inhale, exhale, walk back to center, pull your abs in, roll it up, your, your head is left to arrive, pushing your shoulders down. All right, nice little warm up we had there, yes? No, I cannot find a rubber band for my hair. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, here's what's happening. We've got three exercises, okay? We've got a power press. We've got an open close, goal post, shoulder move. And then we have bicep to hammer. So choose your weight. It should not be a light weight. It should be in your medium to heavy range. So I'd say anything above a five works, all right? And we are going to do power presses. So, Keeping your knees soft, your feet slightly wider than hip distance. Never like this, but your body is underneath of you. Bring those hands up and you're just gonna press, 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 okay? And then we've got the open close. So arms are up, you're in goal pose position. You're gonna press, bringing your shoulder blades together and then spreading them apart. So I want you to really think about your shoulder blade position as you're doing this. Create tension in the air. You're pressing the air away and you're pulling it in, all right? Your shoulder blades are doing a hell of a lot of work. And then you've got bicep to hammer. So bicep and hammer, all right? Just switching it up. Bicep, squeeze, flip it, hammer, squeeze. Cool. I'm so confused as to what I just did with my phone. Hold on. And I found it. I need to keep time somehow. All right. We've got 40 seconds. Cool. Y'all ready? After we do this three times, we're coming down for 30 crunches. Here we go. Power presses in three, two, one. Let's go. Find your stance first. That's the most important part. This is all shoulders. Well, not all shoulders. What else is it? It's core. So much core. Bring those elbows in. I don't want to see this. They are in. All right. Up and down. There we go. Power press is 20 more seconds. Press, press, press. Your core is supporting you. Your arms should be tired as hell. I am not using tens because I would be dead already. All right. I'm using seven and a half. We've got five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and rest. We've got open close. I'm only giving us five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Take those arms up, open, and close. Oh my God. My arms are already jello. Yay. Feel the change in your shoulder blades. Yes. And these are going to be descending rounds. So we've got 40 this first time. Next time we've got 30 and then we've got 20. You're already way past halfway. So hang in there for about 13 more seconds. I know it's hard, but our arms will shift on the next one a little bit. Three, two, one. Good, give yourself a five second rest. And now we get into biceps in three, two, one. Let's go. So we're working a different muscle. Now it's not as hard. All right, you can take a bicep up and a hammer up. You can take a hammer up and a bicep. I don't care how you do it. You can take a bicep up and a hammer down. 
What I care about is the down movement you're still squeezing and resisting. All right, don't let it go. 15 seconds. Make the down movement worth something. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Come on down. Actually, no, I lied. We're going to do that at the very end. I don't know what's going on today, you guys. We're going to do this again, all right? But just 30 seconds this time. I know your shoulders may be aching. If you need to drop down in weight, do it, okay? Here we go. Take 10, stretch it out. We're going back to those power presses in five, four, three, two, and go. Let's go power press it up. This you can do at your own pace, okay? We only have 30 seconds this time and we are already halfway there, 15 left. Elbows come straight down and up and you've got about six seconds. Three, two, one. Good, take a little rest before we do those open close, right back into the shoulders in three, two, one, let's go. Woo, I know that's hard to do after those power presses. This is really killing my shoulders, but I fucking love that because that means I'm gonna have NBA arms. Hell yes. Ah, oh, you've got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, let it rest. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go biceps. Oh God, that just feels so good because it's like different, right? You get to use different muscles. Hell yes. I don't care which version of it you do. All good by me as long as you're squeezing into those biceps for about eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, good. This is your last section here and it's just 20 seconds, all right? We got this, we can do this. Where am I feeling this? Right here, oh yes, right, yes. Jocelyn feels it, hell yes. Hell yeah, look, God, we're all so swole right now. Uh. <laughs> yes, Kate. All right, here we go, 20 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and go. 20 seconds of those power presses. I know this sucks, but we got it. You're already 10 down and 10 to go. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. Five, four, three, two. Let's go shoulders. Ooh! Feel those shoulder blades spread out and in. Try and keep those elbows at 90 degrees. Create tension. We're almost there. Almost there. Just five, four, three, two, one. Let's go biceps in four, three, two, and go. Are you breathing? It helps so much, I promise. You've got eight seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Drop your weights, come on down, 30 crunches. In five, four, three, two, let's go, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, shoulders stay up, 23, 22, 21, down to 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, just 14, 13, 12, 11, you've got 10, just six, five, four, three, two, and one, arms overhead, give yourself that stretch before we move on to our second section. 
Woo! All right, it feels good. All right, this section, try and keep your medium to, actually try and take a heavy weight if you can here. We're gonna work a body part that can handle it. So we're gonna come into a lunge. You can rest on that front leg. Try not to let your hips or your shoulders open up. Try and keep them square. We've got rows, okay? This muscle can handle it. If you top out at 10 doing this or this, you could probably handle 20 weights here, 20 pounds, not 20 weights. That's insane. All right, so go ahead and mess with it. We've got that on one side, We've got it on the other side. And then we've got delts. So arms start in like this. Your shoulders and your elbows lead lifting you up. All right. Squeezing into that top muscle that we just used. Okay. If you need to drop down for these, great. But that's it. Those three things. Ready? Grab your weight. Have your other weight nearby. Just one weight for the first and second, two weights for the third. Come into your lunge in three, two, and one. We've got 40 seconds. Let's go. Try and keep those hips square. Pull it up and hold. Emphasis is always on the up, yes? Up, squeeze into that shoulder, into that trapezius muscle. Pull your abs in. Don't forget they are supporting you. Yes, I know. Your front glute is probably shaking as well. That's good, it's stabilizing you. You only have 13 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and five. Four, three, two, let's go other side. Take it up. How are your hips? Make sure they're not opening, they're square. I had to get my breathing right. You want to exhale in the up, inhale in the down. All right. You've got about 14 seconds left. Just eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. Grab that other weight in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Arms in, they come up. Ooh, these tens feel heavy as hell. As you are doing this, really make sure that you are not arching your back as your arms lift up. You are not using your back to get your arms up at all. You are using your core, all right? Keep it all underneath of you. You just got eight seconds. you got four, three, two, one. Go ahead and take a little rest before we move into our 30 second round. How we doing? Arms are feeling it, hell yes. Okay, who's the idiot that didn't bring any water down? That would be me. All right, 30 second round. Start on the side you didn't start on last time, okay? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, just 30 seconds. Let's do it. Hips are square, shoulders are square. A little hold at the top. After this, we only have one more heavy weight section, okay? Just 10 seconds left, ladies. Five, four, three, two, and one. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Pull your abs in, square your hips off. How are we doing, Kate? Hinge forward too, it helps. If you're trying to do this straight up, you're not gonna be able to get into it as much. Give yourself that angle. You can lean on that thigh, it is there for you. Beautiful, Jocelyn, I see your arm muscles, babe. Good, you've got five, four, 
three, two, one. 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, let's go. Find your position first. That's the most important part. Make sure your pelvis is underneath of you. It is not sticking out behind you. You're already halfway there. You've got just six, five, four, three, two, one. Give yourself a rest. Stretch it out. Whew. One more section left here. Just 20 seconds. How are we feeling? All right. Your next section is going to be triceps. Cool. All right. 20 seconds. That's it. Let's close out this round. Deep breaths. Hopefully your heart rate is elevated. Yes? A little bit. Mine is. I love getting cardio this way. Let's go. In three, two, one. Your heart is up because you are exerting energy, lifting heavy weights. So you're pushing that heart just like you would be if you were running or jumping but in a way that is not burning muscle and switch in four, three, two, and one. You are building muscle as you do cardio, which is so, so important. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Delts in five, four, three, Two, let's go. Oh, pull that pelvis forward, especially in this position. Sometimes we want to use our back to throw us into that, getting those arms up, but we do not want to. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Come on down. 30 crunches. In five, four, three. Two, let's go. You got 30, 29, 28, 27. Make sure you're pressing down on those lower abs. 24, lifting up with your uppers. 22, 21, 20. Press down, press down. 16, 15, 14, 13. You've got 12, 11, just 10, 9. Eight, shoulders stay up. Three, two, one, rest. Holy shoulders. All right. Last section with mid to heavy weights. All right, we've got triceps. Yes, we do. So you've got a tricep single. Cool heavy weight. I want us to do it like this. All right. So if we're holding each side like this, we're working both arms. We have a tendency when we hold it like this behind us, that the hand that's on top is the one that's working. All right. And not as much the other one. That's why I sometimes say switch your grip and move that other hand below it. But let's do it like this. All right, so we've got single triceps. Then I want you to drop down to lower weights, lesser weights, and do double triceps, okay? Straight back and up. Don't let your elbows splay out. Your third thing, friends, is a freestyle. Whatever you wanna work on, it is up to you. I'm gonna let you choose your arm part whatever that may be, all right? It may be a lift, it may be chin pulls, it may be straight out, it may be a combination of all of those. You might be like, oh, a bicep to lift, to chin, to shoulder, I don't care. It is your freestyle section, okay? Jocelyn is gonna dance while she does it. We got it? Here we go, 40 seconds. In three, two, one, single triceps. Pull yourself underneath of you. The drop is where it happens, right? Right there. Three, 
Yes, Kate. Yes, Melinda. Yes, Jocelyn, who is squeezing their core so fucking hard. We only have 15 seconds left, and then we're doubling up on triceps. Working all the arm parts. You've got 10 seconds left here. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Double tries. We do have a lightweight section after this. All right, it's gonna be different though. It's just gonna be a three minute and we're out. All right, Ooh, God, my triceps are on fire right now. Oh my God. And we have about 15 seconds to go. I gotta really use my core here to make this work. Oh, just five, four, three, two, one. Freestyle it out, ladies. In five, four, three, two, and go for it. Whatever you want. We got some front raises and side raises in the house. We got some hammers and we got side lifts. I love how you're all doing different things. Some shoulder work. Hell yes. I'll see you. You can change it up, whatever you're feeling. You are down to your last 15 seconds. You inspired me. You got five, four, three, two, one, rest. Hell yes, whatever you chose. I love that for you. <laughs> roll it out, roll it out. Oh, we've been going for about 27 minutes. We're almost done. All right, this is our 30 second round. Triceps, really disliking me right now. We ready? 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, let's go. Oh, God. Triceps, not a muscle we use in life that much, right? Not a muscle we can go crazy, crazy heavy on, but it is a muscle where tiny little movements make a huge difference. A band makes a huge difference. Light weights. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Double tries in five, four, three, two, let's go. Oh my God. Oh, the drop is so hard for me. I am not going to lie, but we're almost there. Almost there. Just eight seconds. We can do this for eight seconds. I can do this for five, four, three, two, one. In five, four, three, two, let's go freestyle. What do you got? Doing something different? Yes. Kate's got chin pulls. Jocelyn's back in those shoulders. She's gonna get those Linda Hamilton arms. <laughs> We've got just five, four, three, two, and one. Give it a rest. Last section here, 20 seconds. All right, but first just take a little stretch, take a break. You guys are killing it. All right, last thing here, just 20. Hopefully it's gonna fly by. I I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like this right now. Like, uh, like come at me, right? All the blood is flowing and my muscles feel huge. Isn't that amazing? I mean, not that I am, but it feels that way. So here we go, 20 seconds and five. Four, three, two, let's go, single try. You're already down to 10 seconds. We got this. Hopefully, I won't struggle as much on this next one. Four, three, two, 
one in five, four, three, two, double. Let's go. Oh man, why? And I really feel the discrepancy in my arms here. I really feel that my left arm is so much weaker. It really just doesn't want to go as much as the right. Three, two, one. Freestyle it out. 20 seconds. Let's go. I know I didn't give you a rest. I'm just eager to get this class over with. <laughs> You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Come on down for your last set of crunches. In five, four, three, two, and let's go, crunches. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. You've got 20. I'm going to add a little twist to mine. You can do whatever you want. Where are we? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, just 6, just 5, just 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a rest. I want you to lay down and take your left hand and just tug on your right wrist, making yourself into a little C on one side. And then taking your right arm and tugging on your left wrist, making yourself into a C on the other side. You've got one section left. It is three minutes long. All right, then we're out of here. This is light. Wait. All right, come on up. Let's do the damn thing. So we've got three minutes. You've got reps of six. All right, so we've got Superman's delts and straight outs. Cool? Superman! Your arms are here in this goal post. You go out and pull them in. I am hinged forward slightly. My spine is in line. I'm not like this. I'm not like this. I am in a line. Six of those. From there, you are doing delts. Six of those. Still hinge forward. All right. Then you're going to stand up and you just got six lifts. You are going to repeat that for three minutes. Then we are done. So this is a burnout to end it all. Yes. I'm going to start with a count, just the first round, then I'll leave it up to you so you can go at your own pace. All right, three minutes in three, two, and one. Bring those arms to that goal post. Let's go. Six, pull, five, four, three, two. Hold them down, go in and squeeze. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. Stand up, arms out. Go six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to your Supermans. That took 30 seconds. You go at your own pace. I'm not going to count any longer. Wherever you are is wherever you are. We're coming up on a minute. You wanna go nice and slow? Cool, you wanna bust it out? Also cool, up to you. You are, you're over a minute, all right? We're almost at the halfway mark. My arms are so fucking tired, but we got this. Oh my God, shoulders with these lightweights, y'all. You wanna stand up straight for those delts, that's fine too. You're halfway. Oh my God. You are at 145, breathe through it.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Three minutes, what was I thinking? I love it, but guess what? You've less than a minute left. We got this. How are we doing, ladies? I swear the only thing that's getting me through is my breath. You've got 30 seconds left. Ah! Abs in, abs in, use them. You've got about 15 seconds left. That's it. I always say we can do anything for 15 seconds. You've got 10, you got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Holy arms. Oh, they feel weighted, weighted as hell. Oh, God, just hang forward, shake it out. You want to grab opposite elbows and just give yourself a gentle swing. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, man. While we're down here, plant your hands down. Take one side up and give yourself a twist into your abs. Since we did work those abs. If you want to take that arm that's up and just drop it down behind you, you're in a bind. So you're wrapping it like this around yourself. Fingertips reaching for your belly button, shoulder opening. Bring that hand down, take your other arm up, and then drop it down. Fingertips reaching for your belly button, keeping that shoulder open. Drop it down, roll it up. And then just take whatever stretch feels good to you. I will leave it up. To, this one feels real good for me right in there. <laughs> How are we doing? Hell yes. Destroy those arms. I am not going to see you tomorrow unless you take a class in the library, in which case you will see me. I will not see you. But I will see you on Friday for booty school. I have started booty school three. I told you guys this. I hope to have it ready soon. We'll see what's up, all right? Send me song recs if you have anything because it's not a complete class yet by any means. All right, thanks for joining me. Yes, Kate, stretch it out. Mwah. Bye, y'all. See you Friday. Thanks for joining me.